Good evening guys, I'm Ben, part of the Chemical Apes team and welcome again to another Subnautica guide. So for this one we're going to be looking at getting the power cell charger fragments. A uh, real, real must to have, uh, allows you to power, power up those power cells back like new uh, for the seam off, uh, for the prone to and ultimately for the cyclops. So where we are and where do we want to go? Now, we're currently at the centre of the map, give or take uh, 40 metres or so. Uh, it's as good as anything. And I do advise you start from this location so I can give you the exact um, distance and the location. Now, as I mentioned, giant coral tubes, centre of the map. There's another batch there that you'll find. It's not those. It's the one closest to the mid of the aurora. So where we're going to go, we're going to go one click right of northwest, and we're going to do that in the seam off. You can do it in the sea glider. We'll be going around about 150 meters down. Um, so what I would recommend is having a high capacity tank, uh, ultra if you've got it, great, and a laser cutter. Uh, those two things. And then, yeah, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's do it. So... As I mentioned, one click right of northwest and a thousand meters. Now, what we're going to find down there, uh, there's no particular threat. You may find the odd sand shark, um, lots of rays. If you're really, really unlucky, uh, you'll come across a reaper or a warper, but that's very, very rare. Uh, and if you follow this particular path and you go from the corals that I mentioned, you should have absolutely no difficulty whatsoever so we're going to head through the kelp forest as we are now and into the grassy plateaus and that that will dive into the what's called the mushroom forest biome um, a really nice safe area and this is the great thing about this location very safe area very easy to get to um, as i mentioned you can do it in the sea glider so once we see this channel here, you can see the mushroom forest on the left and just keep one click right of northwest. Just keep on that path. And what we're looking out for quite high up is a wreckage. So here we go. Now it is a good idea to check around the wreckage before you venture in there. Uh, you can find the odd part on the sort of stands here. Uh, that is a part, and is that a our first fragment of the power cell? I believe it is. Yeah, so that's one. That's one of two, okay. The next bit now, where we're gonna head now is we're gonna go around, and what we're looking for is a bench, and there's an opening within there. So we're gonna venture in there. Now, it is a good idea to also have a torch. Uh, should have mentioned that earlier on. It does make a hell of a difference. So, we're going to go through this first door. For now. And venture up. And take a look outside this area. You do find fragments around this location. And if not then the next one. Okay guys, we're now through and do we have any more goodies that we can cast our eye on? If not, go through, up and round. Gets a little bit confusing. And power cell charger fragment. There's our second that's it guys, so I'm now going to take you to a second location just in case you have had not that look that I have. Uh, you may have only found one or you might have not found any. So we're going to go to the next location now. Okay guys, we're now back at the centre of the map on the coral tubes. We're going to start again from here. So in terms of location, we want to be going one click left of north. And so just to the left of this cloud here. Uh, in terms of what you're going to need, again, ideally the seam off, you're going to be going that little bit deeper this time. It's going to be a little bit more dangerous. So, 
we're going to go the right now. In terms of depth, uh, we're going to be going just short or just slightly over 200 meters. Um, so you're not going to need a depth module as such. But if you do have one, then better. Better still. Again, high capacity tank is required. And in terms of fauna, when we reach the location, you're going to be coming across bone sharks. Bone sharks can be uh, a real pain once they group up together. They can sort of chip away at the seam off. So it is advisable to keep a, a bit of distance. Um, and if you, if you need to get to the, the wreckage on the when you reach there um try and keep the seam off away as far as possible and then do the rest in the sea glider now they will go for you but the, the, the sort of impact on the elf is quite minimal compared to the damage that they do on the seam off so <coughs> one click left of north now don't venture too far left or too far right what you should be seeing is this peak here and then you want to sort of take a little bit of a, a dive down. And we're, like I said, we're going to be going just short of, shy of 200 meters. And what you'll see is a wreckage from there. And it's around about 900 meters from the center of the map. Now, what you want to do again is start looking around this particular area for any sort of fragments and I believe that's our first one 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. so there we go there's one or two and then we're gonna pan around so careful, careful of these guys and get a little bit nasty and then if you've had no luck what I suggest you do, there's two ways around this, two entrances, uh, the door in between each is, let's take a look at this one first, look at the torch on. Check this area, no, cargo, no. Now they won't be in cargo boxes as such, uh, they'll be typically within the wreckage or outside the wreckage. No. And through again, keeping your eye on that oxygen. If you have the ultra high capacity tank then you're gonna, it's going to make a hell of a lot of difference. And if you need that then take a look at the video above. And we're going to cut our way through here. You may have to do this in two phases just due to oxygen. Okay, we're now through the, the midsection uh, and I'm going to go out and come back in. Okay, so we're now going through the final room. Again, laser cutter. through this one hopefully fingers crossed there's our second fragment and there we go guys boom so two fragments on each you may get luckier on one or the other wreck uh, but i'm sure you'll find all the fragments you need so hope you liked the video if you did why not subscribe like comment and that's all ciao for now bye bye